Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 3 and let me give you a cheat code warning I'm going to be using a lot of them a lot in this episode if I get really frustrated including this infamous rampage where I have to remove 15 Colombian heads I cannot do it from the location given so I have to shoot them on the street but I have to use the cheat code the armor and health the cheat code because I I just can't I cannot do this I can only succeed if I use the cheat codes, god damn it, I could have killed his head, or popped his head, but I didn't, but I accidentally got him instead, or whatever. So, I'm not talking now, because I'm concentrating on you. Oh god, oh god. Shit, shit, shit. He helped you, he helped you. Oh, I almost died. Oh. Okay, armor cheat, armor cheat. Oh god. The fact that I just got my armor and they already took away up to 57. Just like, where's how annoying they are? It's the same deal with the hoods because that's the rampage I'll be doing next is uh, beheading hoods. God, I, I attempted this video a few times. You didn't. You didn't see me fail, because I don't have the time I can't afford to fail. Uh, see, see why I have to do this? Like, I can't do it from above, because the, aim the aiming is horrible. I cannot do it. It's, it, it's different in Vice City, where there, there's, a, there's, there's three rampages like that, but you, can, you don't have to kill them in... You don't have to get them in the head. You can kill them anywhere, so it's easier in, to do it in Vice City. But in GTA 3, there's no sniper rifle rampage where you can just kill them freely you have to do it in the heads and there's two of the rampages and luckily i come on my armor just uh i was hoping he wouldn't take away any armor while i popped his head but yeah but i had to i, I had to use the armor cheat i would stop by my hideout if i could but uh just, uh, wasting time stopping by in the hideout just for 93. I, I, I don't accept it. So yeah, I prepare for me cheating a lot in this. I mean, I I don't like. Yeah, you have to admit, you know, you barely saw me cheat. Well, in the Portland Rampages part, I have, but you barely saw me. So this episode, you have to understand because the rampages on Shoreside Vale aren't very straightforward. So. Just be understanding and 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 know that I tried my best not to cheat throughout this LP, but in this video I just I just have to let it out. Well not for the rampages, I'll still I'll still do stuff legit, but for rampages like these where you have to get them in the head, uh, you have to be understanding here. So here we go, get in the car very quickly after I trigger the rampages. There's actually in both locations of this rampage, there's actually adrenaline pills by both locations of this rampage so god damn it i don't know why jumping so quicker but like when you when you're in slow motion jumping feels slower so yeah do not press the square button at all unless you're in a car Let's see i going well so far except now i'm getting shot and i got him in the arm god damn it and yeah not a not only is everything in slow motion, like everybody talks in like a lower, I don't know, I don't lower pitch or tone or whatever you call it. I, I just call it pitch, cause like, I kind of wish there was a pill for a, a, an like that does the opposite, which makes everybody, which makes time faster and everybody go like, I can't, yeah, it's like the highest I can do it, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do the highest, but it's just making me a fool out of myself. Okay, now we're at normal speed. And come on, I only got half. To me, half is a good and bad thing. Because it's like, oh, I still got more to do as much as I just did. But it's also good because it's like, oh, that's how much I... Yeah, I don't know. Half is Halfway is a good and bad thing to me. Got one. I won't be able to clean, complete it like this. Have to use the health cheat. I don't want to waste time going to the health icon that's in the corner there. So, yeah. 
just, uh, we got 50 seconds left, 5 left, we got this. I don't even care if I lose armor. We got 2 left. One left. And that's how I did this minute page. Please don't take out my armor. Please don't take my, my good stuff. Yes, I didn't want to waste time going to head out for... Well, actually, no. I didn't want to waste time using my health, too. So, yeah, now I'm going to stop by the hideout, get some armor, and... Yeah. There we go now. I'm going to the third most difficult rampage on Shoreside Vale, and uh, that's in Cedar Grove, behind the Shattered Garage in Cedar Grove. Which, uh... What the fuck? My cheetah wasn't even on. I hate when cars explode that aren't even on blacks. Oh god, now I got Wait, is that cheetah still there? I could have grabbed the cheetah, but now I can take a slow Karuma over to the uh, next rampage. God damn. All right. So this isn't the best. I don't really like. I mean, but this video is not bad either. It probably will get bad at like the end or something. And if I predicted the future, wow. <laughs> but anyways, here we are for the third one. Yeah, Fry Twenty Colombians. It sounds easy, but. On the PS2, it's not so easy. So we want to go on the road for the PS2. On PC, you can uh, you can stay at the house and just aim the flamethrower down because that's something you can't do on the PS2 is aim the flamethrower down. So yeah, now I got a cop on me. Great. Um, oh god, he's alive. <laughs> All right, now I got burning. Literally, a cop showed up for me in the in that Staunton Island Rampage uh, Flamethrower Rampage on Staunton Island. I only have four left. Wow, I didn't even look at the like, count. So there we go. Um, it increases by $5,000 each time you complete a Rampage. Except, except instead of uh, giving you $100,000, it gives you $1 million for the final Rampage. I don't know why I'm taking a land stalker over to the next rampage. Okay. Instead, yeah, I'm gonna go down and uh, get armor. And I have 99 health. I don't think it'll be a problem. So yeah, I hope this video goes well for me, just like the Staunton Island rampage did. Because this is my this is not my first time attempting this uh, video. Third or maybe fourth. And I'm gonna enter the health cheat. So here we go. Then, oh damn it! I meant to enter the health cheat. God damn. Whatever. Well, I'm just gonna pretend I got armor. So there we go. Oh, and I got a Molotov cocktail. Cool. All right. So this rampage, I think it will. I think it will go better. Um, it's never a good sign when I think it's gonna go better. But I think it's gonna go better. <laughs> Alright, so it's kind of odd, but uh, you, just, you just have to be on this bridge and jump down to it. I landed on it. Well, not I not landed face down on it, but I landed beside it, which was really close, which made me land, touch it, whatever. So here we go. It's, it's literally just like the triads one, except... If the if you make if you trigger the triads hate you and then you're doing this rampage, these these are both equally as uh, difficult because the triads will shoot at you no matter what. But the hoods they have power more powerful weapons than the triads, but they don't hurt you. So I hope you know what I mean by them being uh, equally as uh, difficult. So. We got nine left. Sometimes, yeah, the, sometimes the hoods are dangerous to be around because they have Uzis. Luckily, the Yakuza are cool because because shooting the Yakuza with guns would be dangerous, but because we're burning them with fire, they don't attack us for some reason. And this could be risky because there's a lot of hoods around here. Did he die? 
Oh, I would I would see a weapon on the ground if he did die. So, but I but I hate when they're on the ground because when they're on the ground you can't shoot them with a shotgun just like that. Okay, this. this is oh, I killed two. So if they said killed 21, then I would have passed right there. And for fuck's sake, I lost my armor. I mean my health. Yes, I did lose my armor, which made me lose my health too. Goddamn. I know where I'm going to get my armor. And my health, so it's good. So now, we're going to, to a vehicle rampage now after all that uh, drama. So now I'm taking the stinger because, uh, yeah, sorry about wasting time, but uh, I want to take the stinger there because I really think I could take a clone all the way from Wichita Gardens to Pike Creek. No. Well, I could, but I really can't stand driving the Kuruma a long way. So this is where I'm getting held. And I know where I'm going to get armor. There's a location in Pike Creek where I could do it. It's like the route of where I'm heading to for the next rampage, so it works. I always like the Pogo the Monkey commercials. That's actually in Vice City. It actually is in that game as an actual arcade game. This is where I'm getting my armor. But, it, but because that game came... Like, that game took place before GTA 3. I don't know why they're advertising it in this game and they, in the earlier setting game of Vice City, just decided to display it like that. So, uh, I guess they planned everything out of order because this game came out before Vice City. But anyways, here's the next Rampage. It's really easy to find. I bet, you, I bet you've seen it a few times in this LP when I was driving past it or something. Drive by and destroy. And, yeah, drive by and destroy is like this, and there's the issue is that they run away. I used to not know what drive by and destroy is, so I used to just, uh, I thought you would, I thought they were like drive by like seven vehicles, like, like a drive by like them, like drive past them and then shoot the actual vehicles with an Uzi on foot. Like I thought that's what they meant by that. I'm gonna go see if the, this Infernus is unlocked. That way I'm not screwed in case I need more vehicles to shoot. But there, no, it's unlocked. Good. So now, at the Stallion. I think Alma Lloyd did this. So yeah, you can just, in, in, instead of making it harder and shooting, like, vehicles with people in it who can just make the car go if you need you can just go to the parking lot and do this and of course that's all it say because there's I, I don't have anything else on mind except the fact that I reached 100 subscribers today so I might make a video about that, <laughs> showing my face. And yeah, now the fire truck. Because it's the only vehicle left to shoot. Yeah, I'll park the stinger right by it, why not? <laughs> okay. Alright, now the Infernus I'm doing. Honestly, this is a good vehicle for the next rampage I got. <laughs> Ignore that, please. Please excuse me for that, because uh, the annoying people around me have to uh, interrupt my gaming here. Anyways, um, 
Splatter 20 Colombians with a car in 120 seconds. And yeah, um, it sounds straightforward, but it's not because first of all, the Colombians can make your car explode just by them shooting it, and uh, also um, they can. Uh, sorry, I'm just pissed that uh, that if you heard that cough, it's it's people trying to be funny and interrupt my gaming. So sorry if I act pissed about it, but. Uh, yeah, this rampage doesn't seem as straightforward as it is, because they'll jump out of the way, which is really fucking annoying, and also, uh, they, they shoot up your car. God, stop jumping out of the way, and I missed. God, I'm terrible today. I don't know what's going on for me today. I'm, today's not one of my better days, so I apologize for that. I thought this, I thought this would be an entertaining video, but it's, to me, it's not really For fuck's sake! God. That should have been a red light. And of course, the only vehicle on the street at the moment is the fucking cop car. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> I love when they go flying. Okay, so. I'm not, I'm not taking a cop card because I don't want to get a wanted level for this last rampage that I had, which is destroying cars. So it's a, it's a ramp. And three guesses to what rampage is last. Yes. The red page we have seen before, and this is this is so convenient because uh, there's a rampage literally in in this area in GTA Liberty City Stories that also has to do with shooting cars with a rocket launcher, and this rampage looks easy, but really it isn't because it's hard to get cars to spawn, and I'll usually just end up going to the airport parking lot. All right, so. Um, so we got 11 cars now. Which is bad, because I can't get any to spawn. Oh, there's one. Yeah, probably the only one that will spawn now. Fucking explode, Sentinel! Die! Jeez. Sorry about today. I'm... Uh, sorry if th this seems like I'm really pissed today, because I... I I don't know why, but, uh... Alright, fuck it, I'm just gonna go to the airport parking lot and, uh... See if I can destroy cars. I doubt it, because I wasted half the time just only destroying five vehicles. Or I'm really sorry about my pissed mood today. I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll be in a better mood in the unique stunt jumps part, which... Which is doubtful, because those are those freaking suck. Uh, instead of wasting time going to the airport, I'm just destroying cars right here because I can get them to spawn more in the, the on the road. That's how much we have left. Five. God, I freaking hate. How does this affect you destroying cars? Seriously. Okay. Well, I failed. I know where the second location is, but this sucks. Well, first time he gets a semi fail rampage. Come on, come on, spawn a car, spawn a car, have a car spawn. Come on, just why? How hard is it to get a fucking car to spawn? Oh, and she's good. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do the armor and the health cheats. Um, 
Fuck you, police. Now I got armor. Fuck you. You were about to regain my wanted level. And I know the next location of this rampage is uh right here. This is the second location. Uh, uh. So I'll go to airport parking lot and pass it this way. This thing has to annoy me and stop me or whatever. Okay, so the first vehicle we're gonna do is the fire truck. Because that's always good. We're gonna keep the Infernus so I can drive that. And destroy the Banshee. Sorry. Destroy the Land Stalker. When it's up against walls, it's easier because, uh, wall is bigger than the car so you can just destroy the blow up the wall and then that'll make the vehicle blow up got the taxi all the way over there Good job and oh I almost didn't see this got Esperanto over here um hello Explode. thank you <laughs> it just did a tilt all right oh shit oh god is, is it please be unlocked please be unlocked please be unlocked Damn it! I'm screwed. Fuck! I'm screwed, man. I'm never gonna pass it like this. Come on, die in furnace. Come on. All right. This is what I literally mean by um having. Go away! Go away! I'm trying to do a video here. Wanna end up on YouTube? All right. Sorry. I'm really pissed off right now. Fuck my fuck this fucking my luck right now. It sucks. Alright, fuck it, just do the one and just do the blow up all cars cheap. All rampage is completed! One million dollars! Yes! Uh, ignore anybody talking in the background. Alright. Eh, I don't know why this has to happen. People trying to interrupt me on the part, uh, of course my family, but I'm, I was really not pleased with this video, although it will be entertaining for you guys, although I really did not like it. See you in the next part. Shortside Bailey, you need some jumps. Oh, fucking see you guys.